Welcome back dear tubers. Time to take a look at a new beer from Port Brewing slash Lost Abbey. This is a new year round edition for them and this is their board meeting. Check that out. It's Imperial Brown Ale but not only is it uh, regular brown ale but it has cocoa nibs and coffee. The coffee comes from Ryan's Brothers who also do the coffee for Speedway Stout and the cocoa nibs come from TCHO which is the same company that provides them to the brewery for Chocolate Rain. So this is an 8.5% beer. Uh, they had a draft only for a little while to kind of test it out and uh, I guess it got a good enough response to become a year-round beer for them. So it poured out with a finger of a nice yeah, like khaki color, maybe uh, you know brownish head, a little bit of alcohol legs, good carbonation. I mean you can definitely tell it's it's on the darker edge of brown. There's a little bit of mahogany notes. You know, it's certainly lighter than a porter. Uh, let's get the aroma. Yeah, right away you get a, a good amount of coffee on the nose. A lot of nuttiness. That's the second thing I get. A lot of nuttiness you get in, in brown ale. There's some nice dark chocolate notes in there. Some nice fruitiness, sort of that, that darker fruit. Um, nice sweet malt character, sweet bread biscuity notes to it so it smells real nice uh, it smells like the coffee and the, and the coconuts are not completely dominating the aroma so let's see how it does on the taste cheers mmm that's good nice creamy mouthfeel is the first thing I noticed wasn't getting any alcohol in the nose getting maybe a touch on the taste uh, but very much a background note. I would say this fresh, this was bottled on February 1st. So it's had a, you know, a few weeks since bottling, but it, it's it definitely has a good cocoa nib, you know, a nice chocolatey character and a, and a good coffee character up front, but they're not too overpowered. So up front you get some nice sweetness with the beer. The sweet bread comes through, that bready biscuity character. A uh, touch of a caramel character as well, kind of adds a little sweetness. Not a lot of that type of character. And uh, you get some coffee notes. The, the coffee's not, is, um, is, it doesn't stand out as much, I would say, in terms of uh, its flavor. You can tell there's some coffeeness. You get a little bit of that, you know, coffee roast character. But it's a pretty smooth addition to the to the beer. So midway through, that coffee s sort of turns a little more to the bitter side, getting a little bit more of that that drying character, that sort of tannin character. Um, you get a lot of nuttiness too in the middle of the palate, and then the back end has um, even more nuttiness, and and those coconuts start to kick in. You're getting some nice chocolate there's a little bit of um, a semi-sweet chocolate and there's some dark chocolate character and then it finishes with that cocoa nib character that nutty fruity like a raisiny character right on the back end and it finishes nice and dry the alcohol kind of helps dry out the beer as well but also at the end there is a little touch of sweetness kind of kicks back up and uh, lingers on your palate a bit you, you get this sort of semi-sweet chocolate and, and fruitiness to go along with a more lingering sort of roasty character and nuttiness to the beer. So this is a, a really welcome addition to the, the lineup for them. Kind of bridges that gap between older viscosity and, and, and the other hoppier beers they have in their lineup, Wipeout and Mongo. So, and of course, Shark Bag Red's pretty hoppy beer too. So good to see them go in a darker direction still not making an imperial stout you know imperial brown ale the the coffee and cocoa nibs are certainly there they're not too overpowering there is a brown ale base in there it's it's pretty easy drinking beer it doesn't have the, the biggest mouthfeel it's just more like straight medium something like you might typically get with say a five to six percent brown ale but it's definitely ramped up the alcohol is you know pretty well hidden in this beer as well so make sure to drink this one fresh for sure i wouldn't age it maybe too long. I'm curious to see how it will, does age, but right now the coffee's fresh, the cocoa nibs are fresh. Uh, it's, a, it's a good tasting beer. I'm gonna go uh, B plus with this one. I think it's a, it's a really solid beer. Uh, worth checking out if you're into uh, darker beers with a couple extra ingredients. 
the kind of the the work uh, really nicely well with it. So that's board meeting from Port Brewing. That's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.